Well, just a new little add-on. We got a few new things to add to our sissy bars now. Uh, this is our original. This was the original. We call it the heel because it's shaped like the heel of a shoe. That was our original and still loved. Uh, many people like and prefer this one. And uh, after a while, a guy drove in with one of these back rests. He paid twenty-two hundred dollars for the sissy bar and rack. I kind of saw the backrest, and this is it. The same thing. You're gonna, not going to pay anywhere near that kind of money. This is called our transformer backrest. Oh, this also comes in what we call a tall boy, which means the legs, the backs are um, about four inches longer if you like it higher. Now what we've just done, because I realize some people like to heal or say, oh, geez, your backrest is too big, you blah, blah, blah. Okay, you, for the minimalist who like the little things, this is called the mini heel. This is a new one. The only company that I know of in the world that gives you a choice of changing your parts to suit whatever you're looking for that goes with the racks, with the backrest. We got four different ones. Now, this is for the ones who are really looking for comfort. This is called the lounge. Nicely padded. Playing, you can go to sleep in this. Great for kids, it wraps around you, holds you secure, and you can sleep. And I know people who have slept on long trips using this. So there you go. This here we call our, our rider's rest. It's designed to match our transformer backrest sissy bar. But uh, this will fit any cruiser that has a split seat. No good for a single one-piece seat because you have to go in between them. And that's done. That's done by using this. This is a mounting plate. Okay. What you have to do, you cut, drill, bend, whatever you have to do to get this down under your seat. Usually 99% of the time you can use the latch, your seat latch. There's two bolts in there. You cut this, get that under underneath that. Bend it to the degree you like it. That'll come up the back of your seat. This mounts, we give you the bolts, dome nuts and stainless steel bolts. It's all stainless steel, by the way. That mounts, once that comes up the back of your seat at your desired where you want it. And your backrest, if you can look closely here, the pivot, you can tighten that pivot once you get the backrest where you want to and it won't pivot. But that's, uh, that goes on here, which Slides up and down to the height you want it. Adjust it where you want it. It'll stay there once you tighten it all in. Uh, these are very, very good and uh, very, very, very cheap. Considering for the price we sell all this, you can't buy a cheap backrest for that price of any sort. The good thing with this, I don't know if you've ever had a backrest on a bike, but a lot of them are made with the pipes or square tubing. Uh, you hit a pot, you hit a pothole with that. It's like somebody kicking you right in the back. I mean, it can break your back sometimes. This won't happen because this will give you a spring effect. Plenty of support on your back, yeah. But uh, hitting a pothole, it's more of a of a push rather than a punch, and that's uh, that's a good thing. That was by accident, but it happened to work out that way. Anyway, all stainless steel. The riders rest. Thank you. One more thing about this. Please don't order this and just expect it to go on your bike. As with everything that we sell, all our stuff is universal. This will require some cutting. Maybe not cutting, but drilling to match the bolts. Uh, you will have to work on this to get it in position. If you don't have the tools or have a mate that has it, please don't order this and think you're just going to bolt it on your bike. It's a kit. But we We've taken it 95% of the way. You've got to work out the other 5%. We don't take them back.